Hey guys, <laughs> just thought I'd show you all my molds that are sitting here ready to ship out today. There's my round ones, different sizes. <laughs> I've had to stack them up. <laughs> oh, there's the huge one. And then here's the mixed pendant one and my rounds. I've got the crushed velvet, mermaid, crocodile. There's the deep, oh, deep rounds. Actually, that's, is that a deep one? Yes, that's a deep one. <laughs> I don't even know. Isn't this great, this little um, storage thing that I got? Right, down here we've got the Druzy inserts, different sizes, more of the croc and the mermaid, and the little Druzies, and here we've got the six, six rounds, and then the six round in the deeps. Oh, I haven't even shown you these yet. One day, one day we'll get to those. I'm so busy. And then down here, these are the big, big Druzy inserts. And in the, in the back there, we've got the hearts, pendant, and the set of four little Druzies. Oh, that's, that's the small round, as opposed to the bigger round. That's the bigger round there. And in the back, we've got the Druzy, the four Druzy, as opposed to the six Druzy. The six Druzy's in the other cupboard. And this is just the um, the Druzy coasters. There's a couple of those, and then down the bottom, I've got a Halloween one. This is the big crocodile disc, and then the big um, crushed velvet disc, and then down here we've got that 35 pendant one. My gosh, look at all that! So I'm going to be really busy. I've got to ship all these out today. So um, yeah, just thought you might be interested. <laughs> Thank you so much for buying these. Really appreciate it. <laughs> See you real soon. Bye. G'day guys, welcome back. Look what I've got. I've got a new mold to play with today. It's a uh, it's tree. You could call it the tree of life or just a tree, whatever you like. I'm going to put my dangles away. I'm wearing this shirt today that's got dangles and I thought, oh, it's going to get everywhere. So let me tuck it in down there. All right. Now, um, I'm just going to bring this up. Come behind the camera so I can just give you a little bit of a close up. It's pretty heavy. It's a big and oh, all right. Now, I don't know if you can see in there, but you can actually see the lines of the tree trunk. And then in, let's see if we can find a leaf. I can't really see what you're seeing. Oh, someone's ringing me. Hang on, I've got to answer the phone. So apparently you can't talk on the phone while you've paused the video. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Um, now let's have a look. Can you see in here? See the little leaf? You can actually... I don't know if you can see in there, it might be a bit glary, but it, you can see the little veins and things inside the leaf. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to have to play with today. And I thought I would use um, just some mica powders. So I'm going to dust on some mica powders. Um, it was difficult to choose actually because I've got the chameleon powders, you know, the, cha the colour changings, um, but I thought... For my first one, and I'm sure I'll do a few of these, for the first ones I'm just going to dust on some mica powders. So I'm using this one for the trunk and the branches, uh, Perlex Super Bronze. And then I've got my three, well I've got a few greens and I thought these look nice together. So I'm going to use these. This one's Arty Sue Army Green, um, Arteza Moss Green, or Arteza, um, Lorez Lime Green. So they're all in a similar, like they, I think they kind of match. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'll do a little bit and then I'll just, you know, fast forward it. So I've got a couple of brushes. 
one to do the big sections and then one to do inside the little sections. Mm, it's not very soft, that one. I think I've used resin on it. But anyway, we'll see how we go. So let's get started. And hopefully I won't make too much of a mess. I'm going to start with the easy bits first. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. So shiny. I didn't want to do brown. Um, you know, because I wanted to do like a nice shiny looking brown. And then depending on what it looks like, once it's demolded, I may actually rub some black paint over it to sort of catch in all the little lines and creases. We'll see. I think I can go pretty quick with it, I reckon. There's a little end of a tree stump in there. I don't know if I just need to go do the sides. Yeah, why not? Let's do the sides as well. It's quite deep. It's a big mould. When I was making the, the mould for the first time, I mixed up 800 grams of silicone. And I thought, yeah, that'll be enough. Nope. So then I made up another 200 grams. So that took it up to a kilo. And uh, nope, that wasn't enough. So then I made up another 400 grams. Um, and I did that. And it was enough. But I probably didn't need quite that much. Probably 1.3 kilos would have sufficed. Now, there's uh, leaves in there, so I've just got to be careful where I'm going. What's that? Okay, that's a branch. i to be careful that I don't paint the leaves, that I do the branches only. And it's kind of a, a curly, it's got kind of like a curly root system down here. So I'm going to do the sides as well. And then I think what I'll do is um, I'll pour some black resin into it. And then, like I said, I may, depending on what it looks like, I may rub some black paint over the top. It doesn't matter if you get bits of mica on these because these are just the blank pieces. So it actually comes out just with the shape. It doesn't have like edges on it. It's just the shape. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited to do this one. Uh, you could put like a hook on it on the back and hang it up. Or maybe you could, um, if you used some, you know, heat resistant resin, it could be um, like you could put a hot pot or, or something like that on it. Just, it could just sit on your kitchen bench, just looking really pretty for hot things to go on. As long as you're using a nice heat resistant resin. I haven't decided what resin I'm going to use yet. But anyway, that, you get the general idea. Um, I won't bore you with the rest of my talking. I will... I'll put you on... I'll, I'll fast forward the next section and I'll, I'll catch up with you soon.
Righto. So that's done. <laughs> Gosh, there's a lot of leaves. No doubt everyone fast forwarded through that. That's fine. Uh, I think next time though, I won't come up the sides. I think I'll just do the base. Um, Cause I'm just wondering what it's gonna look like when I unmold it having green up the sides. So I think I'll do that next time. Just do the base and then leave the sides of the leaves anyway, maybe the trunk. Anyway, we'll see. So instead of doing black, I'm gonna do brown. Got, I was looking at everything that I had brown colour. This is um, a more art chocolate brown. Let's put some of that in. So I decided I didn't want black. Oh, and this is the Amour, of course. It's really, really difficult to get anything out of these. You squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. Whoever designed this did not do a good job. Oh, my gosh. I always end up having to slice the tops off them to actually get anything out. Alright, let's have a look at that. And um, to add a little bit of um, like sheen, I'm just going to put a little bit of the brown mica powder in as well. Uh, Arteza Chocolate Brown. We'll see how that goes. This is not really brown brown, is it? It's more of a a reddish brown. That's okay. I think these two together will look really pretty, hopefully. I just thought it would be nicer than, um, you know, black. Okay, it's not quite dark enough. I'm going to add just a little bit of black, just because it's not quite dark enough. Let's just see what that's going to look like, hey? Okay? Mix that in. And then I have decided that I'm going to rub some dark brown over the top once it's unmolded. And then I'll probably give it a, a quick spray with some clear gloss spray as well. I think that would look really nice. A little bit more black. It's almost there. It's becoming a nice dark chocolate brown, isn't it? Yeah, I just thought, no, black's just a bit too stark. I want to keep it in the brown sort of family. It's quite a lot of resin there. I made up, I didn't know how much to mix up. I did 200 and, what was it? I did 200 grams of A and 86 of B. So I've got 286 grams. It's almost, almost 10 ounces, but. This is the Platinum 360 Plus. I'm a little bit concerned about the depth there. Hopefully it won't, like, what's it called when it sets really fast? <laughs> Flash curing. I hope it doesn't do that. That's really pretty. I put a little bit more of the shimmer shimmering. Just the mica just gives it a nice little shimmer. And then I think that will be it. Make a nice dark brown, hopefully. How's that looking? Really pretty. Actually, want it a touch darker, a little bit more black. A little bit more black. Oops. Okay, that'll do. Because I want to put the dark brown on the top, so I need this to be a dark brown as well. I'm just going to rub some acrylic paint over it. I'll talk to you about that at the next step, but going to rub some acrylic paint over it. All right, now what I'm going to do is, because I can't, this is going to be way too difficult to pour, I'm going to get a little paper cup. That way I can pour into some, you know, smaller areas. I went around with a baby wipe and sort of cleaned up the mess I made. Oh, and also once I'd finished, I took it up, I took it and tapped it upside down over the, um, the bin, the trash, just to get some of that dust out. If I don't use all of this, I'm going to have to find something else to do with a lot of chocolate brown resin. Alrighty, are we still going? Yep. Right, let's make a start, shall we? So basically all we're doing is just pouring the resin in. I'm not sure how much it's going to take, Oops. but we shall 
find out together hey but just don't overfill your cup otherwise it all kind of runs down the side of the cup rather than out the spout and it makes a huge mess there's someone in my driveway I can hear them must be the courier and of course the dogs are barking oh no it's not I can hear Zari it's my daughter well, she's early she comes up every third Friday when my husband's home but she doesn't normally get here till about five or six o'clock what's the time now I'd say 20 to 4 she is early she said she was going to come early and of course I forgot didn't I and started a video <laughs> oh dear sorry about the noise it's a bit of chaos at my place birds and dogs just as well there's no children well, babies. Otherwise, it'd be a real noisy household, wouldn't it? Like, this is this is fun. Pouring in all of these. I was actually surprised how long it took me to do all the um, all the leaves. Many more leaves than I thought I had. But I hope it turns out really pretty. Hope so. But yeah, I just wanted like a normal normal tree the first one you know normal tree colors the browns and the greens and then next time I'll change it up a little bit and I might go with my um, my chameleon powders you know brush them on so we'll get all these different colors I thought that would look really pretty too so lots of things I want to do oh, here we go just fast forward guys if you don't want to watch me I just want to keep going oh I've gone over there so it'll be interesting to see how much it takes resin wise it certainly took a lot of silicone that's for sure uh, I will put this mold in my store um, it will be an expensive mold because you know it takes like I said 1.3 kilograms of silicone and when I price my molds I go by the weight so if something's only half a kilogram it's this much and if it's three quarters of a kilogram it's this much and this one <laughs> this one's gonna be a lot more unfortunately only because that's what it cost me to, to, you know, I have to buy the silicone. And then, um, you know, shipping is going to be a bit more expensive too because it's so heavy. And, of course, shipping is by weight. But if you really, really love something and you really, really want something, um, I think people sort of make it happen, don't they? Put other things aside and get one really, really special mould. Because this would be really nice to give, you know, for gifts, handmade. Or if you're doing craft shows, I think it would sell really, really well um, at the markets. Because it's something everyone can relate to, you know, the tree of life. It's a very prominent piece. And if, I guess if you're taking orders, you can people can choose their own colours, what they want. I'm nearly out of resin. So yeah, I think it would be um, nice to have in your collection of moulds. So resin is self-leveling, so it will just find its own level here. Go into all the little leaves and branches and find its own little level. get off I'm nearly out of resin I think I should have made up a little bit more <laughs> I was actually debating only doing one cup and I thought no I'll do a little bit more because I've got something over here that I'd like to put a bit of resin in but that's not gonna happen I'll actually have to make a little bit more just to top it up you don't have to I guess you know fill it right up but 
some areas might not be um, as thick as they should be, like the leaves. They may not be as thick as they should be if you don't fill it up all the way. So I will just make up a little bit more resin. And uh, fill that up. But apart from that, um, I'm done. I'll use the same cup. I'll just do it now. I'm going to mix up the same, the brown, and just top it up. I, I won't show you. You don't need to see me do that. Um, and then um, tomorrow, tomorrow, we will unmold. Very excited. Always excited when I make a new mold. <laughs> All right. I will see you guys tomorrow for the, um, the unmolding and the next step. I can get my glove off and I can push the stop button. I'm going to say hello to my daughter. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Good morning, good morning. I'm back. And uh, this has set nicely. Look at the size of it. Now let's see if I can get it out. Hopefully it can come out nicely. I was a little bit concerned because here there's lots of these little little areas here that have got silicone in them. So I was a bit concerned, but let's see how we go. I'm just going to go all the way around first and loosen it. And then a little bit further. Let's watch this guy here. Oh, no, he came out, he came out. Yay. Go gently though. All the way around. This is the exciting part, isn't it? My gosh. Oh, look, I'm nearly there. Wow. So I'm not expecting, I guess, amazing things from when I turn it over because I haven't put the, um, the brown on the tree yet. I thought I'd go with this one. It's Jo Sonia's. It's a pretty thin sort of a paint. And now I'm sort of doubting whether I should put brown or black. <laughs> oh, gosh. Get out. Oh, it's out! Yay! All right, let's move that. I need to go and soak this in uh, some warm soapy water just to get all that excess mica off. So I'll do that. I should have taken a photo of it for my eBay store before I used it, but I forgot. I was too excited. So now I have to clean it up so I can take a photo of it. All right, are we ready for this? All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow. Look at that. That is so pretty. Wow. I was not expecting it to be that pretty. Wow. Got a tiny little bit of overflow just there. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. Look at that. Oh, there's... Only a tiny little bit of overflow. I can just actually, no, it might not even be overflow. Tiny bit. Look at that. It's so easy just to just to do that and it's gone. Gone skis. You could even just get a little toothpick. See that little tiny bit there? Just give it a push. And it's gone. Yeah. Tiny little bit of overflow. Oops, you don't have to use a toothpick, I guess. You can use anything, but anyway. Oh, look at it, you guys. You could just leave it like that, couldn't you? All right, let's do what I said I was going to do, though. We'll do the brown. So what I thought I would do, and I, I don't know whether I'll do the whole thing. Maybe I need to come in with a, a green for the leaves. But anyway, let's do the brown first. Isn't that gorgeous and shimmery? That's that bronzy color. It just looks so much, I think, so much nicer than just a plain um, gold. So what I thought I would do is, I'm just going to put a little bit of this paint, just normal acrylic paint. Oop, just Let's try a little bit first. Just going to kind of brush that on, like so. Don't need a lot, because I'm going to brush off the excess in a minute anyway. I mean, you could use a brush, really, but I just thought I'll just use this. Okay, and then when it stops... You know, when there's not much left, then you can put a bit more on. I mean, you could even just do that. You don't even really need to do 
two. I was going to sort of wash it on with one and then, you know, wax on, wax off. <laughs> and then with the dry one, get the rest of it off. There's really not much coming off. But yeah, you could just do um, just do the one, I guess. Look at that. See, it just picks up the grain, so to speak, of the tree. And you could just choose to put just a little bit on. Actually, that worked really well, just putting it on and then rubbing it straight back off again. I'll just try that just a tiny little bit. Just don't want a lot on. So well, let's just, just try dob dob like that. Bit of dib dib dob dob. Just all the way around on that snaking vine that we've got there. Basically, you're just rubbing it into those little creases in there. You don't need to put a lot on. And then it's just a matter of rubbing it straight back off again. To get the look that you want. I do, do want to put some on this little knot here. There's a little knot on the tree. Actually, I think it might even be a good idea to um, actually water this down a little bit. Oops, I can't get any out. Yeah, I think that might be a, a good idea. Just make like a watery paste. Um, and then just brush it on. Because I don't want to put like too much on. So I don't want to change, I don't want to lose like the colour of, um, you know, that gorgeous bronze. I don't want to lose it totally, but I do want to have this natural looking like timber grain. <clears throat> so there we go. Now I wonder if I should do the leaves as well or just leave them. Leave the leaves. See, you can see it better now. It's just caught a little bit of the colour in the in the grooves there. See, it just makes it look a little bit more natural than just plain like what it is up here. All right, let's try the um, the watered down look a little bit. So I'll just squirt just a touch in there, a little tiny blob. Don't need much at all. And then I'm just going to put a little splash of water in that. Again, not much. Let's just stir that up with the paintbrush. Probably, I've probably got two parts water, one part paint. test it out. If it looks a little bit too thick we'll just add another little splash of water. There we go. I just want it really watery really. It's kind of like a whitewash you know. Has anyone ever done a whitewash? I did whitewash on my exposed bricks in my house not long ago and I did um, two parts water one part paint. Brushed it on and then wiped it off with a, a dry towel. <laughs> it looks really good. All right let's see if this is any better. So dip that in there. I think with with leaving it on straight um, like the paint on straight I think if you leave it on for maybe a little bit too long it might be a bit difficult to actually wipe the paint off the excess whereas if you do it this way I think you'll have more time to um, actually wipe the paint off if you know what I mean right so let's do that so that's working really well. So it's just trial and error. I had no idea what to do with this, so that's why I just thought we'll just jump in and paint it with straight paint. But I think this way works better, actually. I've got some on my leaf. <laughs> I'd have to wipe that off. Um, so it doesn't matter if you know you've got some areas that are slightly darker than others and some that are lighter. It just looks more natural, doesn't it? I think so. Now, where else do I need to go? I haven't done up here yet. I'll just do a little bit more and then I might actually see what it looks like with um, a little bit of, should we go green on the for the leaves? 
See, a little bit of paint here goes a long way. Don't need a lot at all. I think I'm pretty much done with this whole side now, aren't I? I think I've done the whole side. So just a tiny bit of paint on that. And then just a, a good old wipe off the excess, like so. It's coming off really well. Like so. Yeah. Right. Uh, so when I did this half, I went back to just the straight paint. I found that uh, when I looked closely, um, I was just wiping off the paint that I already put on. So I went over it with um, this just again. Yeah, I think it really needs to go on straight to, to catch in those little grooves. Otherwise, you just wipe it straight off again. Now, this is what I've got for the leaves. This is the Thalo Green, Joe Sonia's again. Look, you can use any paint, really. It's just, I thought this was a nice one because it's pretty, um, oh, look, it shows blue through there. It's not. Um, just because it's it's a nice sort of soft, runny-ish kind of paint. See what that looks like if it's not going to be too dark. And I've got this smaller little brush. It's a bit more, it's kind of hard. So let's just pop a little bit on. Might not be a good colour choice. And then you just wipe off the excess. And then, see a little bit just stays in there. I don't like that colour though. I'm going to go and find another one. Hang on. So there's this one, this is a really dark green. It says teal green. Got paint on me. So that was that was the original one, which looks more blue. And then there's this one. It's more like a mossy green, I guess. So I'm just gonna put it like just along where those leaves, that centerpiece is, where those little I actually forgot to paint this one green. I've got a um trunk colored leaf there and then you could use a tissue you could use the paper towel you could use a cloth whatever you want to and hopefully that's not changing the color too much I'm going to try one over here on this lighter colored green leaf because I don't want it changing the color too much yep that works all right good so just, again, just a little dab of the paint. Just put it along the center. Just to pick up that little leaf definition there. And then, again, wipe off the excess. If you can remember which leaf you did. <laughs> oh, there we go. And it just, just keeps a little bit in there. All right, I'm going to finish this. Um... Some of them are backs of leaves, like that's the back of a leaf. So I'm not putting a lot on, just a little bit remaining in those little grooves. Like that. Just a little bit remaining in the little grooves, just to highlight them. I don't want to change their colour or anything. So I will continue doing that. Um, I don't even know if it needs it. I was going to spray it with some um, clear varnish but it's actually got a really pretty sheen on it so I don't even think we need to do that do we look it's really pretty sheen look at the leaves so yeah I don't think we need to do that I think I've changed my mind on that one I'll just do a few more I think it's best if I just do a few <laughs> otherwise I forget what I'm up to Wipe off the excess. Right, I'm going to finish that. Um, and then I'll, I'll set it up outside somewhere and you can have a look at it. But doesn't it look amazing? I'm so, so happy with it. It just looks beautiful. Well, of course, that's just the back. But you can put a little um, hanging thing on it. Um, I've got one here. You can just attach that there put your little screw through it and then you can hang it up you know like so you could hang it somewhere on the wall it's not very heavy so it's easy to hang 
there you go all right thanks for watching guys hope you've enjoyed this <laughs> and um I'll have to clean up my mold take a photo of it so I can put it on my store for you but it's beautiful mold it's beautiful all right thanks ever so much for watching I'm going to finish these leaves and um I'll catch you real soon for the next video okay love you all bye for now